What's up everyone, it's your boy, I'm back for the third and final video of the DIV overlay tutorial, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to code this bitch. So let's start by getting the notepad open with the actual DIV overlay code. So I have it open in the notebook now. Okay, so once you have this open, I'm just gonna minimize it for now, you're gonna want to open Handy Image Mapper. So I have it open right now, and I have my actual layout. Now this is not the one we I designed in video two because I really didn't go into designing as y'all can see. But this is my current layout. So what I want to do is just grab the little box tool and click and hold and actually drag a box around my message button. Then I want to go to my internet browser. I'm using Safari and go to the actual profile of my MySpace. I left it blank so I can see all the links. I'm going to click on message, right? To loads, I'm going to go to the top and get the URL for message. I'm going to go back to Handy Image Mapper. And I'm going to paste this URL, sorry, not code, in where it says href. Now, this button will link to message so when you click on it you'll be able to message or somebody else clicks on it they'll be able to message you when you click on this you'll be able to message me so I'm going to go back to the profile now that I have a box around to add and do add to friends same thing copy the code paste it in there I'm just going to do the same with the rest of the buttons Now what I'm also going to do with the URL from pics or pictures, I'm going to go down and I'm going to make a box around my picture that I included in my design. And I'm going to go over where it says href and I'm just going to paste it in there. So when you click on my picture, it takes you to my pictures, just like a regular MySpace that I will do. And now you are almost completely done with Handy Image Mapper. Now I'm going to go, go ahead and go to Edit Profile on the MySpace. I'm going to go to ImageShack.us and I am going to go host my layout on the web. You need to actually host your layout on the web. Now that it's hosted, I'm going to go down here and click show advanced links. Make sure you click show advanced links. I'm going to go back to the MySpace. I'm going to grab the DIV overlay code and I'm going to copy the first part. They're divided by lines and I'm going to paste it in my about me. Then I'm going to copy the top part of the second part of the code just like this. And I'm going to paste this into MySpace in the Who Do I Like to Meet section. Now there's an image tag here. Delete that. Go to imageshack.com. Or not, sorry, not imageshack.com. Go to Handy Image Mapper. And just click Place on Clipboard. What this does is copy the code. So don't message me saying cl clicking on it does nothing or whatever. It copies a code. And I'll see it, it's on your clipboard. And paste it where that image tag was. Now you're going to go on the bottom of the code. There's an image tag in the code with a link back to your hard drive. You cannot use this. So what you need to do is delete that link to your hard drive. Go to image shack and grab the direct URL. And paste it where the hard drive link was. So now if we click save changes just like this type in the code just like that and view the profile we have our image. Now we have links in our image. So now that that's done I'm gonna go back to edit profile and I'm going to make a good amount of room. That's enough. 
I'm going to go to the div code, go underneath all the div classes. Now this is a div class, or that's at least what I call it. Just where the div opens and where it ends. I'm pretty sure there's like four in this code. I'm not sure. But now where the end of the center tag is, all the way down, I'm just going to go ahead and copy. And I'm going to paste it in the MySpace. We're not going to do much to this bottom part of the code unless you really want to. I suggest just leave it alone if you don't know anything about HTML and CSS. If you have experience with it, go ahead and start playing around with it. I'm going to go back to Image Shack. And like I showed you in video 2, I'm going to get the sides for my layout. Alright, now I have the sides of my layout. I hosted on Image Shack and I did exactly what I did before. I just clicked Show Advanced Link. I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to go over to my MySpace and I'm going to paste it in the bottom of the code that we had just put on where it says background image URL and then it says your image. You're just going to delete your image and you're going to paste the URL there. Now there's background color, uh, green, uh, red, green, and blue, and this just goes by numbers. So two, two, five would be white. If you go all the way across, so three, two, two, fives, and it will make the color white if the image doesn't load, or if something goes wrong with your hosting or anything like that, it will be white. Now, as I said in video two, you can make your image scroll, and that would be right down here where it says background image fixed. You just change that to scroll and make sure your image is long enough to scroll through your whole layout, or it will repeat and won't look that good. Now that that's done, you're going to want to go to the middle, and I'm going to show you how to insert a object. Now, this is not needed for scroll boxes. What you can do for a scroll box is if it had, if it says div in front and div at the bottom, just place it in the center of the two codes. You don't need to go through all this. Also, this d, this div class, the four of them you have here, you can copy them and make more, but they can be used as scroll boxes if you want. So I'm just going to copy one of these div classes and I'm going to go over to the MySpace and paste it between the code. I'm going to erase everything from the A tag to where the A tag closes and I'm just going to make object tags. Now I want to insert a music player. So I'm going to myflashfetish.com I'm going to get the code for my current music player. Just copy that and I'm going to place it right between the two object tags. Just like that. Now you have top and left here. So from the top I want it to go down 500 pixels. Now this is not going to be exact. And from the left I want it to go over 400 pixels. Now you want to go into the music player code or whatever object you're inserting and find the width and height. I have it right here. The width is 219 pixels. The height is 35 pixels. I'm going to go up here in the div class where it says width and height. I'm going to type the width 229 pixels and the height 45 pixels. And what this does is, if you're using Safari or Firefox, if you see you do it the actual measurements of the object, it will go into a scroller. You do not want this, so you have to do it 10, mega, 10 pixels over the actual width and height. So we're just going to hit Save and View Profile. And right here over the picture like I said it's not exact but right here is our music player but that's basically what you do for your scroll boxes and everything else 
that's pretty much how you make the DIV overlay MySpace layout.